Hi there, my name is Kim and we're going to do a brief discussion on how we keep our ultrasound machine clean and safe for use. So here are some of the learning objectives for today's talk. Basically, so you understand how to keep the machine clean, what the different parts of the machine are, know how to clean it, identify any knowledge you need to know about cleaning the machine and why. So for infection control and also identifying and controlling hazards to do with the ultrasound machines. Here's an image of a typical cardiac ultrasound machine. As you can see, there's lots of cables and gel bottles and things that can come off, cause B potential hazards. Um, so we want to be aware of each part of the machine and how we clean it. So each machine will have its major, major body, its console, which in today's society is ergonomic so it can move, and the monitor. Then we've got all the attachments, so multiple transducers can be attached, ECG cables, electrical cables, gel bottles, etc. With the transducers or the probes themselves, they are quite delicate and hold a fair amount of crystals in the end of the probe. We don't want to drop these. The machines do have cradles on the sides of the machines for their transducers, so these need to be placed appropriately and hooks for the sides of the on the sides of the machine for cables so that there's no potential hazard of the cable getting in under the wheels or in the brakes, causing us to trip over or causing breakage. There's also a, a, a rubber pad on the end of the transducer. Um, which is the foot of the transducer, but this rubber pad can erode and corrode if too much alcohol is used. So there are certain wipes that we can use which are non-alcoholic wipes. The vendors do um, advise to use a soft cloth when cleaning the gel off, but for disinfectant, either the non-alcoholic disinfectant wipes or this specific ultrasound spray for the transducers. So with our cables, again, we still want to clean these, but again, these, these do have a rubber casing and they want, we want to make sure that doesn't erode and, and expose wires. So again, a soft cloth to get any gel off. And then that non-alcoholic or disinfectant wipe or that spray is good for the cables as well. Then you're going to place all the cables in their appropriate um, consoles and make sure that um, they're up off the ground and not in the way of any of the brakes not under the wheels and just avoiding uh, any um, trip hazards that they may have. Also, if they get caught, they could be ripped out of the machine, creating all sorts of different damages. Remember, these machines are quite um, expensive and delicate, so we want to minimize any breakage there. Now, I'm just going to show a little short video on how to clean the filters, because there's filters on the machine which can be placed uh, located in different areas. So this machine, has it on the back so that just comes off and this is our filter so as you can see it's quite dusty so I can just take that off and just pop it in the sink and just give it a good wash down and then let it so I will do that at the end of the day once I've finished give it a good wash down and let it dry overnight before putting it back in otherwise if you've got a vacuum cleaner you just vacuum off the um, that, all that fluff and then pop it back in and then pop your casing back on So with the trackball, remembering this is in front of us, it's the thing we most we use the most, hands, multiple hands going across, so they can get dusty and quite, um, uh, they can actually stop moving or be quite restricted in movement if too much dust and gunk gets around. Okay, so why is it important to clean our machine? To reduce cross-contamination of infection, we want to control the infection between patients, between us and the patients, between anyone else. We want to maintain the lifespan of the machine. We want to reduce those breakages, make sure we're getting the best out of our machine diagnostically for best patient quality care. So be, be mindful that they are um, quite fragile machines, so be careful with them. Now identifying hazards. Can you think of any other hazards that I don't um, mention here? Remembering what's on the machine. So we've got the gel bottles if they fall off or if you splurt it somewhere So gel could be a slip hazard um, It can get into the keyboards. It can get into the mouse uh, the trackball cables on around near underneath um, Cooks and nooks and crannies brakes wheels causing potential trip hazards 
console not locked so if the machine is not locked when you're cleaning it or if you're moving it and it can go one way it can cause breakage to the machine but also can cause injury to us electrical cables if you move the machine before unplugging or if you pull it out of the wall without turning the machine off that's creating damage to the machine and potential electrical um, uh, injury to us so yes can you think of any others that i may have missed so this is an example of how not to leave your machine at the end of the day make sure you clean your machines everything's away safely there's no potential hazards because someone else comes in after you they don't want they want to make sure that they're not in any danger either and if that another patient comes in or another staff member at any time there should be no danger at all some um some practices do have their own cleaning protocols so check with your practice to see if you do have a checklist for the end of the day for your protocol uh, for cleaning to make sure it's all safe and maintained. So in conclusion, what do we want to achieve by keeping this all clean? Minimizing that infection uh, contamination, so we want to control infections. Safety, improving safety, minimizing hazards and risks to us patients and other people and increasing the life expectancy of the machine and the quality of the machine, the diagnostic properties of the machine, and ultimately keeping our patients and ourselves safe. So here's the websites that I use from the vendors, uh, so the machine manufacturers on how um, they prefer to clean the, the probes and the machines. Um, so yeah, but refer to your clinic's guidelines if you have some. And uh, here's to safe and clean ultrasound machines. Thank you.